Yeah, I've got a serious artist mode. It's in my butt. You have been, uh, you've been a dog groomer for a lot of years now. What, what, what the fuck was the transition? <laughs> well, I just have a real kinship with canines, as you can see. Copper sit. Come to me, boy. Yes. Well, this is it, really, isn't it? I mean, this is it, essentially. Yes. Come to me, my child. 
And, and I, see, yes. I see he has you attached to a lead. Um, <laughs> what, what was the purpose of his, his decision there? To... Well, I wonder. I'm a wanderer. So, <laughs> you know, he keeps me in check. We've lived together for 10, 12 years now. And, uh, you know, any time arrives, I, I got to wear the lead. Sometimes I like to try and take food out of bins. So he has to keep me in check. This new record you're working on, let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Oh, you want to talk about that? Well, I think uh, we can talk about that. <laughs> the name's Chundi. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's a it's a, it's it's a much lighter record. It's a much more fun. We keep saying fun, but it's not that fun. But it's in comparison to eighty-eight, it's a lot of fun. It's much shorter. It's just ten hits. One, two, three, one, two, three. The closest that I came is knowing I will never feel the same way. The closest that I came is knowing I will never feel the same way. I tried to figure what I did wrong. Yeah, inside I'm laughing, and here I belong. There is a village in my head, I hung it from its legs, and it bled out, and now I'm dead. Yeah, my bones are soft and and I chose to ignore it and I'll never get ahead But the closest that I came is knowing I will never feel the same way The closest that I came is knowing I will never feel the same way My friend asked me to learn an instrument to start a band with him. We were called Intergalactic Rebound. Space Jam had just come out. And, um, or Kelly was still cool in everybody's books. <laughs> um, I learned keyboard for a year, but that was super lame. Psst, keyboard's lame, bruh. And then I learned guitar. Uh, so yeah, about 20 years. Gigging nearly 20 years as well. We gigged our first gig at 16. We, we were great. We played a sped up version of Bush. Uh, Swallowed, if anybody's interested in that. <laughs> great song. 
great band. <laughs> Uh, what about uh, your your previous bands? You used to be in a band called I Like Ducks. I Like Ducks? Question mark. Question yeah. Mark. And Disco Wheel of Monkeys was the band before that, which was the band our first band which was. I Like Ducks was uh, our kind of second band. The band that was the better of the two bands, the original band. We were kind of an incubus mashup with new metal. It was all very metal and heavy. And then when I started playing on my own, it got all folksy. On stage. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Shane. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> i 
talk about the spirit store? Yeah, sure. What would you like to know about it? What's your favorite drink? The spirit, in the spirit store, store was opened in nineteen. I don't know. <laughs> um, what's my favorite drink in the spirit store? Yeah. Spirit store is where I got introduced to uh, a rhubarb soda. I like me a double vodka and rhubarb soda in a pint glass because I'm a really sweet guy. We played the spirit store our last show with Connell and Stephen Dudlow, as in the last. Tight elephant band, full band, roster before the two boys left. We played our last show last December on maybe the 13th, Friday the 13th or something like that. Uh, and then this was of December. And then this was whatever, the last day of November. So it was almost a week or two weeks to the day that we last played in the Spirit Store. Which is always oh, the last time me and Shane oh, played music together. Even seen each other in real life, in person to person. Not on the web. Hello, Shano. Um, so we haven't practiced, we haven't rehearsed, we haven't done anything. And uh, we had, we played a bunch of the songs from... We played a kind of a few few off all the albums. All the albums. <laughs> uh, including one from the new one. But it was weird because we... Like, usually when we do the two-piece thing, it's very meticulous. We really spend a lot of time getting it just so. Um, this, this time, we like, we'd never even played the song together. So we just both, like, kind of practice what we were going to think we were going to do ourselves and then got up and just went one two three four go so it's the first time we ever just jammed the thing on stage and it kind of worked i think hopefully it worked
It was weird because it was a, it was like a full gig but with no audience but the audience was the crew so they were all working too and it, it wasn't strangers it was all of you guys so it was everybody we knew and everybody else who was magician musicians or whatever as well magicians, magicians just a bunch of just a bunch of magicians know. working it out um so it, it was it was really fine you know it really felt once we got into it and played a song it really felt really easy kind of just felt like more like recording mm. than gigging. Yeah, it felt like being in the studio. It was in the, yeah, fun. felt like being in the studio. It was a lot of fun. Once I once I kind of just sank into it, and realized that I was just a day out with the with the kind of musicians in town. Then I started to have a good good bit of fun with it. And real once I realized it wasn't formal. I thought we thought we went into it with this idea that it was this very formal thing. Ooh, the spirit store presents. You know this kind of thing. But then when we realized no, it can be whatever we wanted. That's when we kind of started having a bit more fun with it. You know. But I can't wait to see the whole thing and everything, like every else's stuff as well. So it looked amazing and it was a great day out. I thought it was a great day out. You know, still the music, are you? Still the music. Ah, that's lovely. Do you want a bit of feeling? <laughs> Fourteen crows near a house in the woods.
Self to preach. 